Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Day of the Dead senor or man. Take two fingers in the middle and put a dot. And from that dot, going to the left, we're going to draw a curve line out, little curve line in, curve line out, down and around. Come back to the dot on the right hand side, curve line out, little curve line in, curve line down, around, and connect. Right where the dot was, I'm going to take one more finger and above that I'm going to put a dot. From that dot going towards the left, I draw a little curve line out on the left, come back to the dot, little slightly curved line out on the right. I come down to the bottom part of this space on the left and watch what I do. I'm going to draw a big curve line out on the left, keep going, keep going, and we're going to draw it again on the right, connect. Inside the line, I'm going to draw little baby circles all the way down on the right. Keep going right where the curve is. Come back up. We're going to do the same thing on the left. Keep going, keep going right where we are on the curve. Now come underneath and draw little baby circles on the bottom side. Everybody's going to have a different amount because we all draw differently. Now come back up to these floating lines and we're just going to draw a straight line down connect on the left and a straight line down connect on the right. Now come inside the space. On the left we're going to draw a big curve line on the left. Come over, draw me a big curve line on the right. Come back to the left. Draw me a curve line around and connect on the left and a curve line around connect on the right. Come down again. Draw me a little curve line connect on the left, little curve line connect on the right. Come back to the left and we're just going to draw one curve line on the left, one curve line on the right. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a slightly curved line over, straight line, curve line up, straight line connect. Right about in the middle we can draw a line and now we're just going to draw straight lines on the top, straight lines on the bottom. Okay? Come down on the left and we're going to draw a straight diagonal out, slightly curved line up, on the left, come on the right, straight diagonal down, slightly curved line up on the right. Right here in the center we just draw a curved line, connect. Now starting on the left hand point we're just going to draw a slightly wavy line down, up, connect on the left, slightly wavy line, curved line, connect on the right right here in the center. Now watch what I do. I draw a big curve line down, curve line up, keep going and connect and I come down right about here and I'm going to draw a curve line down, big curve line up, keep going and connect. I come back to the left and I draw a straight, well I guess it's a curve, curve line, straight curve line, straight line, connect on the left, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect on the right. Come back to the left, we're just going to draw a curve line, connect on the left, curve line, connect on the right. Now we're going to do little rectangles connected, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two. 
That's on the left. Now come over on the right. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two. Come on the inside and we're just going to draw connecting little slightly curved lines to each one of those spaces on the left and do the same thing on the right. Now come on the inside and we're going to draw one, two, three baby circles. Right here in the center we're going to draw a straight line down, slightly curved line to the right, straight line up, connect. Come on the left hand side we're going to draw a straight line down, slightly curved line over, connect. Right on the left we draw a curved line on the left, curved line on the right. Now we're going to mimic that line again. Let's draw another curved line on the left and another curved line on the right. I think that's all. Because I have this black color out, I'm going to do the left part and the right part of these spaces. Come down, left part, right part on these spaces and I can come in and kind of make that middle line a little bit thicker. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is super easy because it's only two colors. I'm using my scarlet red for my tie, so that's this section. And then these are my decorative dingle balls, so these are all going to be red or scarlet red all the way around, the ones inside, the ones on the bottom. But the important thing about this section is that you want to go in between and add a little red line all the way around the inside part of the hat. And now the rest of it is black. So I'm going to do this section black, this section black, Come down this section black, this section black, this section black. I'm just doing this quick. This section black, this section black. Hello, it's all black. This section black, his shoes are black, and his soles are black. But I might make these a little bit darker black along with his buttons. I'll make these really black black. Okay? Let's see what he looks like all colored in. Here's my Day of the Dead Senor, or man, all colored in, ready for the festivities. Dias de los Muertos in November. Okay, bye bye!